Hi boys and girls, the Hayes County Sheriff's Department is here to tell us what they do to help our community. I can't wait to see what they have to tell us. Here they are. Ooh, look. There are the motorcycles. Look how cool that big bike is. And then here comes animal control truck. So cool. Oh, look at that truck. It's where they can put the animals. And here's Deputy Andrew. Oh, he turned his lights on for us. <gasps> That's so cool. And here are our motorcycle front. Ooh, they've got their lights on too. Look at them putting on a show for you guys. <laughs> I think they're having fun, don't you? It looks like fun to me. Oh, be careful. Hi guys, my name is Deputy Mark Andrews with the Hayes County Sheriff's Office and as you can see we've got a couple deputies out here on their motorcycles. Um, but I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about what we do. So when, when most of you think about a police officer you think about um, maybe chasing bad guys or, or putting people in jail. And sometimes we do that, but that's actually what we do the least amount of our time. So most of the time as police officers what we do is, is, is help people. So we might change a flat tire. We might uh, help people cross the road. Um, if you get lost, we want you to remember that we're your friends. So um, that's generally what we do most of the time. Now you can see some of our equipment here is, is, a, is a patrol car or a truck right now. It's one of our new units. We've got our motorcycles um, and animal control. Uh, we've got uh, Miss Rita Hensley. That's one of our animal control officers. Um, the guy here on the left is Deputy Bottoms. And the guy in the back is uh, Deputy Dugans. They're a couple of our motorcycle officers. And what those guys do is they do traffic enforcement. So uh, if we have some traffic issues or, or places where we have some um, traffic problems, then we send these guys out to, to help uh, remedy that. But other than that, uh, we want you to remember that we're your friends, um, that we're the good guys, and we can help you if you need it. All right, guys, I'm Deputy Dugans. Y'all have already seen me. Uh, I am one of the motor guys, and this is what we ride. Of course, this is Deputy Bottoms here. He's my other partner in, in crime here. Um, this is what we ride on a daily basis. This is a Honda unit, and it's a lot of fun, but it's also very dangerous to ride one of these. So if you ever get on one of these when you get older, make sure you wear your safety equipment, okay? We got helmets, we have gloves, and we have our protective boots to keep our legs and feet protected, okay? So some of the equipment that we use during our day to basis, we have a radar unit. We nicknamed it Wally because he looks like Wally. Look, he's got eyes, you he's guys. Eyes. So, <laughs> and if you have Wally, you gotta have Eve, but it doesn't look like Eve. <laughs> but, you know, Wally needs a friend. So this is a radar and this is a radar, okay? Two different styles for two different things. What are they doing? All right. This one, he wants to explain what these do. This is what we call a laser radar. This right here, I can pick up one car at a time individually to make sure I'm getting the correct vehicle when I'm radaring. He's gonna explain that one. This one is just radar. And on here, we can have uh, two rows of traffic or two lines of cars coming at us. And we can see the speed of each of those cars in that line. So side by side, we'll see their speed. And what we do is we'll aim it at the cars, we pull a little trigger, and it'll, their speed will show up. When we let go of that trigger, the speed will remain on our display. So that way we know how fast they're going. Then when we go and stop the vehicle, we can talk to them on either one, Wally or this one, and go, this is the reason why we stopped you. Now, it doesn't mean we're gonna, everybody's gonna get a ticket. However, we give out a lot of warnings too. Probably more warnings than we do tickets. 
but we just want people to see what they're doing and be able to understand this is why we're out here. We want everybody to drive safe. And most importantly, we want to make sure you're protected and safe too. Whether you're going to school, going home, going to football, basketball, volleyball, soccer, track, something. Either way, we want you to make sure you're safe and we're doing our job to make sure that you're safe. And things of safety, we have our stuff to keep us safe while we're talking to y'all on the side of the road after we've stopped you is our emergency lights. So these right here get other drivers' attention so that way they know to slow down before they pass us or move over or even stop if they need to stop. So that's, that is a protective measure for us as well as the other person that we stop and talk to. So, but there again, the, the main thing that we do is we want to slow traffic down to keep people safe. As he was saying, that is our job. We want you to be safe traveling to wherever you're going. Okay? And anytime that you see one of us, don't be afraid. Come and stop and talk to us. So even if we're on the side of the road and your mom and daddy want to stop and talk to us, stop and talk to us. We love to talk to you guys. You can wave. If we see you wave, we would love to wave at you. We'll wave back and we'll smile and grin our teeth at you. Good to go? I think so. All right. All right. Thank you, officers. You're welcome. Good morning. I'm Animal Control Officer Rita Hensley, and I'm here to let you know some of the things that we do for the city, uh, for the county, uh, Hayes County. Um, one of the things that we do mostly is protect and serve the citizens of Hayes County, which is all of you guys. Now, we go out and we pick up stray animals, animals that have lost their homes or found, have lost their way home. Um, animals that are not supposed to be in areas that, uh, such as porcupines that are in HEB's parking lots. Um, so we do a, quite a bit of few little things. One of the main things I want to talk to everyone about is bats. It is very important that none of you guys pick up bats. They are very, uh, they're good in a, a certain way, but they're very bad to handle. If you ever see a bat, please get an adult, your teacher, your mom, your dad, or somebody, so they can call animal control. Don't ever, ever, ever pick up a bat. Please don't. I'm gonna show you some things that we use. This right here is called my snake tong. We use these to pick up snakes very carefully, and as you can see, the little clamp on the bottom closes up. So we usually get, clamp this behind the snake's mouth, behind the head, so that way the snake cannot bite us. And then we put it in a bucket, and we always release an, uh, the snakes out into the wilderness, to, away from people in society. Um, one of the other tools that we always use, this is what we call the catch pole. Now with this, we use this mainly on dogs. This little loop comes out and we put the loop around the dog's head and then we tighten it up. And this helps secure the dog so it doesn't bite us or bite other people. Now this will never ever hurt an animal because it turns at the end, okay? So we're not out to hurt the animals. We're out to help the animals and help them find their homes and find their way back to where they came from. Um, one of the things we also use, and we're gonna get a little close up on this, is, is my net. Now, in this one, this is the porcupine I talked about earlier. These quills, they're very, very sharp. So when the porcupine uh, when I was trying to capture the porcupine, he released his quills, and now th this is what my net looks like. So, but guys, another thing is if you ever see wildlife, please do not ever approach any kind of wildlife. Skunks, raccoons, foxes. I know they're cute, and I know they're pretty, but they're also very dangerous animals. Also, when you see a dog that you're not familiar with, do not approach them because you don't know how they're going to act. You don't know how they're going to react to you. Um, many of the thing, many of our problems is where people are approaching animals that they don't know, and then that's when they get in trouble. So please do not approach any animals that you do not know. Okay. One of the things that um, where we put our animals, and if you want to come this way. This is one of our dog kennels. 
So we put the animals, cats, dogs, whatever in here. And we can close this door to where the dog is secured into the truck. It's, it makes it safe for the animal and it also makes it, makes it safe for us. And these are also, um, they got fans in them. So in the summertime, they stay cool. In the wintertime, they stay warm because they, this is pretty insulated. So we, we stay, take care of the animals like that. Um, we also have a little transport cage. And this is real simple to use. When we get a smaller animal, we put them in here to keep them secured so that way they don't get loose from us and then it's not putting us in harm's way. So this is some of our safety features that we use to keep us safe as well as the animals. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these videos that we made for you guys and you guys stay safe and y'all have a good day. Thank you, officer. Thank you.